Hi guys, my name is Leah and I will be going over business and computer science related electives that may be offered at your school. The first electives that I'll be talking about are business electives. So there are a variety of business classes you can take, including but not limited to principles of business, law, accounting, international business, and even virtual enterprise. Now, the business electives available vary between schools, so make sure to research your own school to see all the business electives that they offer. Business electives are great because a lot of them meet the G requirement in the UC A through G admissions eligibility. This means that in order to even apply to a UC school, you must take one year of a college preparatory elective like business. Taking a business elective can be so practical, even if you're not strongly passionate about the subject. For example, even though I'm not relatively interested in business as much as biology or chemistry, I took law last year anyway because I knew I could learn so much that will help me later in the future when I'm an adult. I got to participate in two mock trials, experience what actually happens in court, as well as develop leadership, teamwork, and communication skills. I also learned about online scams and how to look for a reliable apartment. In addition, law was so fun because the class got to go on a field trip to Alcatraz for the entire day and we also hung out at Pier 39. So the main takeaway is if your school is lucky enough to offer business electives like law, I highly recommend you take it so you're better prepared living on your own as an adult in the future. If you already know you have a passion for business and want to become more involved, I recommend joining the Future Business Leaders of America. FBLA helps high school students prepare for careers in business through academic competitions. If this club exists at your school, I recommend becoming a member so you can work individually or in teams to compete at the regional, state, or national level. Outside of school, you can attend summer programs at universities like UC Berkeley, Brown, Barnard, etc. I want to advise you that these programs can be pretty expensive, so make sure you check the cost before applying. The other type of electives I'll talk about are computer science electives. At my school, there are two courses available that you can take, including, but not limited to at other schools, computer programming Java, as well as AP computer science. But in order to take a computer science elective, you may have to have completed a certain math level, such as geometry, before you are eligible to take the class. These classes are some of the most difficult electives to take in high school because computer science is a complex subject to understand. However, these classes are very practical, especially if you are hoping to major in computer science or want to become more familiar with programming and machine learning. Learning how to code is such a crucial skill, especially in this day and age, because our world is beginning to rely more and more on technology. Unfortunately, I know that not all schools can afford to offer these types of classes for high school students. If you really want to learn programming language like Java or Python, I recommend looking into your local community college for computer science classes that are offered for students at your age. You can also take programming classes at prestigious universities or even online during your summer break. But it's up to you to take initiative and sign up for classes that will further your learning in subjects that interest you. Ask yourself what skills do you want to gain that will help you in the future when choosing your electives for the school year. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. If you have any questions regarding the content in the slides, make sure to email us at tutoringbyascent at gmail.com. Also, you can follow us at Ascent Services on all the social media platforms listed on the screen. Thank you so much. Bye.